this is the story that begins of a kind of circle of life experience related to the Olmstead family. I'm going to share my screen and a little slideshow. So this story begins uh, a few months ago, actually, in a way, uh, a month ago, I was uh, attended a 60th anniversary of uh, graduation from Atherton High in Louisville, Kentucky, where I grew up, up the street from Tyler Park. And one of the first places I went in that visit back from California, from the Los Angeles area, Palos Verdes to Louisville was to go to Tyler Park and I learned that um, it was an Olmstead Brother Park. Um, and it actually, the story begins a little bit before that, where I was born in New York. And one of my favorite things to do as a four and five year old was to climb the rocks in Central Park. And uh, also in the Northern Manhattan, uh, there was a park, I forget the name. And um, of course, that was uh, built by uh, or designed by the Olmstead brothers or somebody in the Olmstead family. And then we moved when I was five years old to Louisville and uh, Cherokee Park. I knew or and later in life was an Olmstead Park um, and all the parks in um, Louisville, big parks. There's, I think, six or seven that were designed by Olmstead. Um, and then I went to the University of Chicago and this play, thing called the Midway Plaisance that runs along the southern, um, it used to be the southern border of the university and now uh, the uh, gateway to uh, the, the university has bought buildings to the south of um, the Midway, um, which when I went there separated uh, the university campus from the south side uh, ghetto uh, of uh, uh, black Chicagoans. And, um, and then I, uh, but coming back to the Tyler Park, this was at my house in Louisville, just up the street from, uh, this was when I visited and it was Halloween, up the street from Tyler Park, um, 1713 Edgeland Avenue. And here was uh, Tyler Park as in its current form with its restored tennis courts and walking paths and this iconic bridge um, that goes um, through the middle of the park and it has is uh, very much a reminiscent of other bridges of the Olmsteads. Um, and then this was an area that there used to be a uh, bathrooms and things like that and a platform that my father would show uh, Charlie Chaplin films to the community for fun. Um, and this is a whole project uh, by the Olmstead Parks Conservancy. Um, and um, you can see some information about that. And this was a famous tennis family that played at Tyler um, and won all the city championships and um, we weren't actually such good friends. <laughs> um, and um, then this is, uh, there was somewhat of a tension between the kids playing baseball and the kids playing tennis, shall we say. Um, and uh, then this is that bridge again in an area that, you know, evokes so many memories. And when I was, uh, went to day camp there, would walk around this quarter mile track when I was in high school and run around it to get into shape, etc. Four times around, made a mile, I think. And more information on. Uh, so this was in uh, middle of October, and a message from the I don't know from where, but it came to me. It definitely is true. and a place we used to come down for a picnic. And this was also day camp territory, this particular area. And the other side of the park where there were tennis courts 
we would ride our sleds down that hill. We would play baseball in that central part, center of the park there. And this is the very spot where I remember contemplating the rest of my life when I was in high school. Did I want to be for freedom or for economic security? So the Olmsteads had a way of creating a space for people to contemplate such questions. And now they have a Friends of Tyler Park and you all can go online and take a look at what they're all doing. So then I was born in New York, Central Park, Louisville, Tyler Park and Cherokee Park, the Midway Plaisance, and then in my most recent years, of course, is Palos Verdes and Malaga Cove and so many cleverly planned out Olmstead with their winding roads. So it doesn't look like there's any roads there are there, but there's all kinds of streets down below. Um, and uh, we see that same pattern in so many uh, ways around the peninsula. And of course, wildlife is always ready to look at the world from the Olmsted view. So that's uh, it. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to submit this. And I will stop sharing and I will stop recording. And thank you for the chance to share and learn more and more about this amazing family that um, have influenced so many millions around the world and particularly in our country.